Hello everyone and welcome to episode 83 of the 10 minute mauling challenge. Am I recording? Hello everyone and welcome to episode 83 of the 10 minute mauling challenge. This week around, I'm going to keep it short and sweet because I'm roasting here. I'm, I've got my fan switched off because it was a bit of a pain doing the noise cancellation last week. So I'm going to spare you from that. I'm going to look like the pilot in uh, Airplane, that movie, if anyone remembers that. Yeah, well, I got my summer beard going, jumped from the jump tower into the water with my kids. Only from the fifth one, so it wasn't even number 10. Uh, dislocated my shoulder, had to pop it back in underwater. It's sort of getting back to, used to, back to where it used to be, uh, which was pretty broken. And I think it's from that uh, crash that I did uh, a couple of years ago on the motocross. And it's uh, I need to train it a little bit more. So I'm going to get back to it. Someone uh, said it could be my age. I don't think so. It's uh, been... I think it'll be fine. I'm just getting younger every year. So it should be all right. This week around, I'm going to do a fire engine. And someone actually suggested to do that. But I'm uh, unable to check the chat history for some odd reason. Maybe because I'm lazy. So whoever it was who suggested a fire engine through the time, thank you very much. I'm going to be doing a fire engine. <laughs> this could turn up any which way. We'll find out what it looks like in the end. I've just looked on a Google search. I did fire engine just to get a brief idea. And they're big red. And some of them have got a ladder on the top. So um, that's, what my, um, that's my reference. That's what I'm going on. Blender. And we've got... Did it crash? Blender just crashed. How is that possible? That scared me a bit. Scary. Let's hope it doesn't crash when I'm doing this. Well, it'll be a sad 83rd episode of this um, 10 minute mauling challenge. Alright. I was also going to go dr drive down to meet Arvid, who's usually in the chat. He's one of the moderators. Uh, always downvotes my videos for some reason and then tells everyone else to upvote them. But I was going to go down and visit him in Germany, but still the COVID pass situation is a little bit too tricky. So in Denmark, for example, I'd get stuck and I'd have to show some paperwork and I've still got my second shot to go, uh, which is going to be next week, I think. So maybe I'll just push it a little bit forward and I'm going to plan it a little bit better. So if anyone is in the northern region of uh, Germany, so like uh, Hamburg, Rostock, Berlin or something like that, maybe we should have a get together and go down and have a few beers, uh, maybe in September or something. Would that work? Let's talk game dev, but heads up, I'm going to bring my camera and record a little bit as well. So if you want to be in one of the videos, talk game dev stuff in a safe-ish type of environment. I don't know where, where we'd sit or anything, but we'll figure that out. So give me a shout in the comments if you're interested anyway. And uh, check out the Discord link in the description as well. Join there, have a chat, and uh, we'll organize something. Hopefully. Screencast key is running. I'm running. I'm set. E to extrude. S to scale. I haven't worn this in a while, but I found it. Can I get 10 minutes on the clock, please? Yes, hold on, just a moment. There we go, 10 minutes on the clock. Like Mr. Miyagi would have done. Ready, steady, go. No, <laughs> tricked myself. Ready, steady, go. We're off, yes. Tab in tight mode. A, select everything. Uh, let's make a red fire engine. So half the things already don't know. Hold the control key, snap this thing up, if I could grab it. There we go. And we need auto mirror, of course. Uh, plug in, check out uh, that it's included by default. So just enable it and scale on the y-axis there. That's gonna be our basis for the fire engine. Control R, scale on the y-axis, move it forward. But, ooh, that looks like a coffin. We don't wanna have that yet. So, okay, maybe I'll flatten this a little bit more, like this, just to create the base. E to extrude this one, that's gonna be the driver's cabin. The cabinet, cabin, cabin. Raise that one a little bit. Maybe I'll do like a little hump here. I don't know what that would be, but here. There we go, I'm gonna have the ladder on the back here as well. Maybe this will become like a toy version of a fire engine. So, and here, I think I'm going to do a little bit down again. And here I'm going to do what I did uh, for my perfect topology car. So, control R here. No, 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 no. I'm lying again. So, let's see. I'll select this one and alt shift select these. See if I can grab it. Yeah. And there we go. I want to do this and do I to inset. And then here, shift select these, I to inset this. I'm going to have double, double bogey on the back here, two wheels, whatever that's called. Uh, control, okay, and now I'm gonna extrude this, so I'll C to circle select, select all of this. To, maybe to there? No, to there as well. Enter. Uh, but, oh, I wanna deselect the centers there. Should I do this? Yeah. E to extrude. There we go. That's one wide fire engine. Let's make it narrow again. Let's make narrow fire engines. Okay, control R and control R. We'll split that one. Scale Y. That was on the mouse wheel, if anyone wondered, if anyone picked up on that. Maybe I'll select these two, bring that up. This is going to be the wheelhouse, the real wheelhouse, the wheel wheelhouse. There we go. That could do. How am I doing? 805. And I don't even have anything to show you. Control R. Let's do the wheelhouse is there again. Control R and Control R. Scale Z. 
zero, flatten that thing. And then now we'll just grab these and I don't know if they have wheel arches like this, but this one will. There we go. It's going to be low poly. If, In case anyone has missed that in this whole series now, I do low poly stuff. And I get asked questions to do high poly stuff, but it'd look terrible if I tried. So this is uh, my style. I'll stick to it for now. So there we go. Control plus on that one. Okay, I didn't really want to have... We'll do... Okay, I'll have to circle select this then. I'll have to do the old-fashioned way, the manual way. Like a, a non-automatic car. This That's the way I have to do it. Stick shift. There we go. Mark all of these. And I accidentally selected that one too. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the ring, hold the ring thing. G, scale, Z. Oh, okay. Okay, I just want to move these. So I'll box select them down to there. That should do it. Okay, that was a long way to do a slow thing. So control R, no, I'll do um, here. Let's put, I have to do the ladder as well, 649. I to inset this and then just E to extrude this one. Let's make, I think they've got like a like a door here sometimes that they can do stuff. And here we need to put the ladder thing. So shift D to duplicate that one. E to extrude and shift D to duplicate. I'll just do like some sort of a thing here that can hold the ladder. So this is gonna be apparently a cartoon style thing. So let's just shift select that. Shift D. I have to bring it up a little bit here. I don't know what it looks like. So maybe like this. And L, L, L to select that. G. Let's make that like uh, not a blue color, but a gray color there. And here, let's do the ladder now. Shift D to duplicate it. Scale E. Actually, shift D again, because I'm going to do something small here like this. And then drag it out just maybe like this wide. Like yay high. Oh, uh, okay. I'll have to... Move that up, E to extrude, okay. L to select the link, Alt N, recalculate outside. Didn't expect that one, but okay. And here, E to extrude that on, and then we'll just do something here. Uh, let's go with it. So, Shift select these, E to extrude, and I don't know, uh, Shift, let's see, Control R. I'll just do some sort of a E to extrude thing. This is gonna be a terrible topology, but that's okay. We can live with that. And then here, I'll do E to extrude again. And then extrude this one in, snap it together, eat, whoop. And then here, let's just do E to extrude, E to extrude. And I'll hold the control key and, uh, okay, I need to change this one to vertex snapping. Drag it, control key. And now I want to do this. I want to do control, this is going to be weird. Control, snap it to there, G, Y, 1, minus, okay, 1.5. Okay, because now I know if I do... L to select the link, shift D, Y, 1.5, negative. It'll uh, be the same, and then I can just do shift R and do that. So that's gonna look like a weird ladder, but it's okay, I'm gonna have to live with that one. Uh, maybe I'll just cap it at the top here, should I? Uh, no, we don't even need to do that. So that's gonna be the way the ladder looks. It's folded or something, I don't know. So four minutes, 42, let's bring that one back to there. So that gives us just enough space here to do a little, maybe we'll do, uh, E to extrude, S to scale it. Should we bring the front in? Get a little more modern look on this thing. And then we'll do a front windscreen, I to inset. E to extrude, oh, I forgot boundary. So I to inset, B for boundary. If the B doesn't work for you, it might be because you've got individual. You've pressed I twice by mistake or on purpose. So G, there we go. I to inset there, we'll do a little side window. E to extrude that on, go black window. Tinted windows on a fire engine. How cool is that? So here we'll put a little, oh, I need the wheels as well. Four minutes to go, shift D, scale. They, they need these uh, lights anyway. That's like more important than wheels practically. If you don't have these lights, no one would see it coming. So you don't need wheels in that case. So there we go, there's a light bar thing. Maybe I should have, uh, okay, I'll have to live with that one too. Ooh, there's a lot of things to live with. Shift D, apparently bumper might be even more important than wheels as well. I don't know why, otherwise I'd do it beforehand. So L, select the link, G, and then L to select the link, Shift D, duplicate this one to the back here. And then should we do, I'll just do some weird features here as well. I to inset, um, I to inset again, S to scale it down, just tint that a little bit, just for some different features here. Okay, wheels we need now. So Shift right click, Shift A, we'll do a cylinder. I'll keep the low poly look, maybe 18 for this wheel will be. All right, clipping off, rotate Y 90, scale X, and scale those, there's some big rims on this one. Blinged out uh, fire engineer scale. And that's it. A, select all, G. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm going on the rails now here. Off the rails. 
There we go, scale, X maybe a little bit wider, and then we'll just do some uh, simple stuff here. I to inset, big balloon wheels on this thing. I to inset, bring it in. I to inset, and here's where we break the topology, but actually, you know what, I'm okay with that. Control plus a couple of times, go gray there, and that's our wheel. A real wheel. Wheel reels. Wilson's wheeling school. Check that out. Okay, I'm gonna send these in a little bit. I'm, I'm okay with that too. We're gonna have some overlapping geometry here, but it's uh, it's cut. Okay, maybe not. I'll send it in like this. That's it. Okay, we need headlights as well, don't we? And a rear view mirror. So Shift D, duplicate that one. This clipping is off. Uh, scale X. Bring that one in, bring it up. And uh, this brings me back memories to episode whatever, when I made 10 cars in 10 minutes. Uh, luckily enough, they weren't this detailed as this undetailed fire engine, so otherwise I would have struggled. Control plus, let's get orange there, and then put some... Oh, it needs a grill as well. A fire engine with a grill. I'd put that out straight away with a, with a hose if I was them. If I were them, is probably the correct way to say that. G. Okay, that's going to be a bit, a bit similar. It's going to melt in another... Uh, reference there for fire engines so thanks to all the firemen out there and uh, i was gonna say fire uh, females as well but i guess it's the same thing and i don't want to be all p pk pc whatever so let's just keep calling them whatever firemen e to extrude that's the grill g and here we go and rear view mirror because you otherwise they can't see backwards so rotate uh, okay e to extrude you know what Low poly is your friend. It can look any way you want. How sweet is that? Uh, e to extrude. Let's go back there as well. So there we go. Some more detail. I've got 58 seconds to, to bling this out. Let's just do some weird details here. Let's pretend this could be something cool. Let's pretend shift D. Uh, this could be something cool. This could be like a utility box or something. I don't know. Maybe they put the hose in here. <laughs> Depends on what type of hose you're. But it's the fire one. Uh, the ones that are on fire, so no, no, they're not on fire. There we go, blinged out there a little bit. Uh, let's do Shift D, scale. Let's put something here as well. Okay, it's still clipped, but that's okay. Let's leave with that one too. E to extrude, L. Gee, have I forgotten something vital? Probably a door to get in, but that's okay. We can live with that one too. Shift D, let's put something here as well. E to extrude that on, L. That's like a little support thing. And uh, let's go E to extrude that on. A little hatch there, I don't know. I to inset, E. Should we do orange as well? Maybe. Oh, right on the buzzer. It was actually after the buzzer, but that's okay. That's it. Dismiss. Okay, that's all the uh, color uh, the paint job that they got was this little orange thing in the front there. That's gonna be our fire. You wouldn't want to climb up this ladder, but maybe again from a distance like this. Hey, that could work. It's wide, very wide. I don't know what model this would be, but it could do. Could do the job. Maybe. Could it put out fires? Maybe it could. All right. Mr. Miyagi time again, apparently. So. That was it, that was just a quick fire engine and I'm actually gonna edit this video super fast now and upload it. And it's a good thing I've got my new internet connection and I hope this video actually recorded, otherwise I'm gonna be knee deep in uh, rubbish because I need to make this work because I've, this is gonna air very soon. So I've gotta package it up, edit it, put a few sound effects on, find music for it and upload it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, a quick one, no bonus tip, just rewatch it, redo it, make your own fire engines. And until next week, uh, have a great one and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to stop talking now. See you next week. Bye for now.